Good morning, ESM. I'm that Luke. Never gets old. Okay, good. You just cut me off then. I'm Luke. And I'm John. And today we, uh, what are we going to talk about today, John? We're talking about some Halloween stuff. Nothing yeah. specific, just the general topic, you know? It's never too early to talk about Halloween, of course. Never. But first, let's go to news. Today, the Supreme Court will consider whether or not to reimpose the death sentence for the Boston Marathon bomber after a federal appeals court voided it. The justice system under President Joe Biden has taken the same position it did under Trump, defending the just sentence for Jahar Sinayev, despite Attorney General Merrick Garland ordering a temporary prohibit prohibition on exec executions and federal s system. Justice Department lawyers urged the Supreme Court to reverse the appeals, calling the case one of the most important prosecutions in our nation's history. At around 3.35 p.m., an axe-wielding man stole a bike from a 14-year-old. The 14-year-old said that the man approached him on his own bike, then demanded the teen's bike. Then he began to swing an axe around. He gave, the teenager gave the bike to the man, and the man rode away, carrying the teen's bike on his side. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be a video club meeting after school today. The club makes movies, TV shows, and also attends movies at local theaters. Stop by B14 after school if you are interested. Just a reminder that school physicals are available for students on October 19th, starting at 9.15 a.m. in the health office. Please go to the health office to sign up. School physicals are available for any student free of charge October 19th, like I said, and you must sign up with the nurse by October 15th and get the required paperwork. Are you interested in joining the boys or girls bowling teams this year? If so, please stop by G26 Thursday after school to grab some information about the start of the season. If you cannot make it after school Thursday, please see Mr. Per Mr. Pereno by the end of the week in G26. PRISM, the high school's club for LGBT T students is meeting this afternoon after school in room B44. If you have a conflict, stop by and pick up the class code so that you can talk with the other students online. All right, now let's talk about some Halloween stuff, John. All right, some Halloween stuff. So, for starters, of course, Luke, what are you going to wear? I'm going to be honest, I still don't know yet. Um, you don't know? Luke, I'm thinking is around you know, the corner. I'm thinking I have an idea. Maybe we go back two years ago. I remember freshman year. Maybe I dress up as you. As but me. from two I, years yeah, ago. I do remember Or that. maybe I could do it you now. Just got to get a nice long wig, you know. Got to get those sleeveless shirts back because oh, that hasn't changed. But, yeah. Maybe. It's perhaps. What about you, John? I wouldn't be upset about that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking that I'm going to do a little couple's costume. Oh. Um, I think I'm going to be a devil of some sort, I think. You already are a devil, a John. A handsome devil. Oh, um, got him. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, what are what are some of like the coolest costumes that you've seen just while you're out? I don't know. <laughs> I went to I went to Target the other day and saw some kid holding a Fortnite costume. It was pretty funny. Oh nice! I didn't realize nice. people actually still played Fortnite. But. Yeah, I mean I saw this one Halloween costume and it was like it was inflatable. I don't remember where I saw it, but it was like a ten foot like skeleton costume and like it started at the base of the person and it just like grew up and that's insane. Maybe I should get that, put some hair on I'll be you pretty much. Just gotta get that Ooh. height. All right, we'll talk wow. to you more about some Halloween stuff after weather. Today we will have a high of 74 and a low of 59. There's also an 89% chance of rain. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 72 and a low of 60. There's also a slight chance of rain. Friday will be 77 degrees with a low of 65 and some thunderstorms.
it seems like the weather is going to be pretty decent, at least for me. And those colleges look pretty cool, although yeah. I'm already committed. Harvard Law. Of course, why not? Just ignore that bottom right there. Yeah, yeah just UDFA. There, the you, there you go. There you go. Right there. All right, what else we got? Uh, so we're going to talk about some more Halloween stuff. Um, we're going to talk about candy. Luke, what is your favorite Halloween candy Oof, to get? That is a tough, tough question, let me yeah. tell you. I would say my favorite candy bar, like chocolate bar, I'd say, honestly, I think I'd go with Twix. Twix, Twix? is pretty good, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'd say actual candy, though, I'd probably say yeah, Skittles. Skittles. Never go wrong. Skittles are good. I'm a Seahawks fan, so, you know, Marshawn Lynch, Skittles, can't go wrong. What about you, John? I think you can go wrong with being a Seahawks fan. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess we'll see this weekend. Seahawks, Steelers, stay we tuned. We'll see this weekend. Um, that'll be a good game. Um, but I think my favorite Halloween candy is honestly I'm pretty basic. I like just like a solid Hershey's bar. Nice. Like just straight Respectable. Hershey's chocolate. I don't know, there's just something about it. Either that or uh, like Reese's. Any of the Reese's, Reese's Pieces, Reese's mm. Puffs, like the cereal, anything yeah. like that. Love them all. Well, that Seahawks Steelers thing would have been a good uh, segue to sports, but let's what? just go right now. The Brooklyn Nets announced that star player Kyrie Irving will not be allowed to play or practice with the team until he is vaccinated. The current vaccination rate among all NBA players is over 95%. After beating the Chicago White Sox 10-1 last night, the Houston Astros will now face the Boston Red Sox in the ALCS. The Atlanta Braves are on to the National League Championship Series after beating the Milwaukee Brewers 5-4 last night, and the San Francisco Giants and Los Angeles Dodgers will go to a Game 5 to decide who will face the Atlanta Braves in the NLCS. A Syracuse graduate in the is the first American to win the Utica Boilermaker in over 30 years. Steven Rathbun won the Boilermaker in the time of 47 minutes and 31 seconds. Rathburn says being mentored by awesome runners at SU and New Jersey, where he currently lives, helped him in his victory. And now in Morgan with ESM Sports. The gymnastics team celebrated their senior night defending Central Square 130-121. to The seniors Rhiannon Butchko, Mallory Kramer, and Brendan Richards showed inspired performance to help clinch the win. The girls soccer team beat Auburn 9-0 yesterday. Leah Rem led the team with four goals and two assists, and Natalie Peterson had three goals and assists. Giselle Melkham and Angelina Polcaro both had a goal. Ashley Praxel, Angelina Polcaro, Paige Butterfield, Laura Marquette also had assists. Isabel Shavesty had 10 straight shutouts. The boys soccer team beat Auburn 10-0 yesterday. Tom Durantini led the team with three goals. Eric Margaret Garrett had Oa Dono and <laughs> Jack Schiffeld all scored two goals. And Nico Padawando had a goal. Joel Alvarez, Caleb Tedesco, Justin Oakley, and Evan DeBurgis all had assists. The boys team won. The boys team has successfully won nine games in a row. Oh shoot! <laughs> the field hockey team plays at home against Cicero North Syracuse at 6:15, and the volleyball team plays against Janesville DeWitt at home at 6:30. Awesome soccer team. Yeah, good job, hey, ESM. But <laughs> also. I don't know where you do this, but I saw this. Uh, vote Isabel Chavesty for best goalkeeper in, I don't know if it was Section 3 of the whole New York State, but 10 straight shoutouts. I mean, I mean, what else can you complain about? That's, that's on Syracuse.com. Syracuse.com. I, I think that that's was. Go vote, because ESM pride, man. Come on. Uh, and uh, from me, John, everywhere at the morning show. Have a great day.